everyone, it's me again, Mama Riel, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, kung bago ka pa lang dito sa ating YouTube channel, is please huwag mo muna kalimutang isubscribe, i-like tong video, and i-hit mo na din ang notification bell down below para naman palagi kang updated sa mga bago kong mat tutorials and sa mga bago kong vlog na ina-upload dito sa ating YouTube channel. So, in this video nga is I'm going to discuss all about circle and dahatiin natin siya sa two parts. Ngayon is I'm gonna discuss the parts of a circle and then the next video that I'm going to upload is I'm going to discuss how are we going to solve for circumference and the area of the circle. So for now, definition of terms muna tayo all about circle. And hindi muna tayo naka whiteboard, magpe-pen and paper muna tayo ngayon. Okay, so without further ado, simulan na natin ang pag-aaral. Hi everyone! So the goal of this video is to illustrate a circle and of course to discuss all the parts of a circle. So what are you going to do is to just sit back and relax and just listen on what I am going to discuss, alright? So in this video, we are going to discuss the definition of a circle, the parts of a circle which are the radius, the diameter, the chord, the arc, the central angle, and the inscribed angle. So when we say a circle, it is a set of points on a plane equidistant to a fixed point called the center. Alright? So sabi dito, ang circle daw is a set of points. Ibig sabihin ng set of points, madaming points in a plane. Ano ba pag sinabing plane? Hindi e, ba yung patag na um, surface? That's a plane. Patag na surface. Equidistant. When we say equidistant, um, the distance is equal. Equal in distance. Okay? To a fixed point. And when we say a fixed point, ito yung tinatawag nating fixed point. Ang sinasabing fixed point is yung gitna ng circle which is called the center. So, the center of the circle. Alright? How are you going to name a circle? So, for example, nilagyan ko ito ng letter M. Okay? So, therefore, the name of this circle is circle M. Ayan. And ganito yung pagsulat ng circle. Bilog, tapos tuldok sa gitna, and then M. That is how are you going to illustrate a circle. And this is a circle M. Okay, so ngayon nga, kapag sinabing circle, hindi na bilog lang, di ba? Alam nyo na ngayon yung definition ng circle. So, ganito ah, kapag may pinasagutan sa inyo and um, the direction is to name a circle, ang una nyo palaging titingnan is yung center. Ito. And kung ano yung letter na nasa center, yun yung pangalan ng circle na mayroon kayo. Okay, so the next term that we are going to discuss is the radius. Okay? So when we say radius, it is a segment whose endpoints are the center and any point on the circle. Okay? A segment. When we say a segment, it is a line, of course. A line na mayroong dalawang endpoints, dalawang dulo. Okay? And pagka pag nga sinabi nating radius, ang dalawang dulo niya is at the center of the circle and any point in a circle. Remember, itong circle na to, yung nakapalibot sa kanya ay points. Ayan. So, imagine niyo na madaming points yan na nakabuo ng isang bilog. Okay? So, for example, dito, name all of the radius in this circle. So, the radius are, eto. Ayan. Segment MI. That's a radius. Of course, meron pa tayong isa pang radius. Ito, tsaka ito. Basta palagi lang yung tatandaan, yung pinaka endpoints niya is nasa gitna and any point in this circle. MO. Segment MO is also a radius. Meron pang isa. We have segment M. B. That is also a radius. Okay? Ayan. And of course, kapag sinabi natin madami na yung radius sa isang circle, um, tinatawag na dun is radii. R-A-D-I-I. -I. 
segment MI, segment MO, and segment MB. Okay? Yun lang po yung mga radius dito sa circle na ito. So, with regards with the measurement, um, palagi nyo tatandaan na lahat ng radii sa isang circle is magkakatulad ng measurement. Like, for example, segment MI is 5 cm. Therefore, segment MO, ayan, and segment MB is also 5 cm. And then next, what are we going to discuss is the diameter. Okay? So, si diameter and si radius is somewhat, of course, related to each other. So, when we say diameter, um, it is a chord which contains the center of the circle and divides the circle into two congruent parts called the semicircle. Okay? So, ibig sabihin ng diameter, ito yung line segment na humahate sa circle into two congruent parts. And when we say contains, nasa kanya ang center or yung point in the center. For example, dito, ang diameter natin dito is OI or segment OI. Ayan, ito. Bakit siya yung ating diameter? Kasi nga, hinati na yung circle into two congruent parts. Itong part na to and itong part na to. ba? Diba? So, yan yung naghati sa circle. Pwede din tayo magkaroon dito ng diameter. Ayan. Basta any segment na madadaanan yung center ng ating circle, that is what we call the diameter. And the measurement of the diameter is, of course, 2 times the radius. Dalawang radius is equal to diameter. ba? Diba? We have MI and MO and that is OI and that is a diameter. Okay? By that, ang measurement ng ating radius is one half of the diameter. While the measurement of our diameter is two times the radius. Dalawa ng radius ang diameter while the radius is kalhate ng diameter. Okay? As simple as that. Palagi nating tatandaan na kung ano yung measurement ng isang diameter sa isang circle, lahat ng diameter na mayroon sa circle na yon is magkakatulad lang sila ng measurement. Okay? Dito kasi ang pinakita lang natin is isang diameter. Next part that we are going to discuss is the chord. So listen, kapag sinabi natin chord of a circle, it is a segment whose end points are points on the circle. Okay, sinabi ko na ang ibig sabihin ng end points ha, dalawang dulo ng linya. Okay? So, kapag sinabi nga natin chord, ang ibig sabihin, yung dalawang end points niya is nasa point dito sa circle. Any point in this circle. Okay? So, hanapin natin dyan yung mga chords. Name the chords in this circle. We have segment EL. Bakit siya naging chord? Si segment EL. Kasi po, yung dalawang dulo niya, ayan, si E tsaka si L, is nasa points ng circle. Remember, ang points ng circle is nandito. Ayan. Yung nakapalibot na yan. Or nakabilog. That contains the points of a circle. Therefore, EL is also a chord. We have segment BI. Ayan, BI. That is also a chord. Bakit? Kasi po, yung dalawang dulo is nasa point ng circle. Okay? And then, Si BM ba, masasabi mo ba siyang chord? Of course not, kasi yung isa niyang dulo is nasa center. Okay, meron pang isa, we have the segment OI. Okay, so wala ba magtatanong? Ma'am, bakit naging chord yan? E diameter na nga yan. Okay, so remember, any diameter of a circle is also a chord. Why? Kasi yung dalawang dulo niya, or dalawang end points, is nasa points pa rin in a circle. That's why diameter is also a chord. Okay? Palagi niyo yung tatandaan. Okay, now let's discuss about the arcs of the circle. When we say arc, ito yung nakakurve na line. Right? Ayan siya. Ganyan ang arc. Okay? So, meron tayong three kinds of arc ng circle. We have the minor arc. 
the major arc and the semicircle. Okay, so sinabi ko na kanina, when we say semicircle, it measures equal 180 degree, meaning to say, kalahati siya ng circle. Remember, um, the full circle measures 360 degree. Okay? Ang buong circle po ay nagme-measure ng 360 degree. Therefore, when we say semi-circle, kalahati ng circle, ang measure niya is 180 degree. Okay? So, let us identify the semi-circle in this circle. We have the arc O, B, I. Ayan. O, B, I. Lahat ng dadaanan na letters, which is hanggang doon sa pinakahate, which is the diameter, that is a semicircle. O, B, I. And meron pa, of course, na isa. We have O, L, I. Okay? Arc, O, L, I. And ganito nyo isusulat yung arc, okay? And then, pwede din namang O, E, I. Basta and vice versa. And kung ano yung madaanan na letters, isasama. But ideal is three letters only. Kaya hindi natin sinama si E. So, kaya yan ay O, L, I, or pending O, E, I. Hanggang sa makakalhati ng circle. And kapag kaya identify nyo yung semicircle, pagbabasehan nyo yung diameter. Okay? Kasi ba diba, when we say diameter, hinahati na yung circle into two equal parts which is a semicircle okay and the next is the minor arc when we say minor arc it measures less than 180 degree ibig sabihin yung pagkaka arc niya or pagkaka curve niya is dapat mas maliit kaysa dito kay semicircle kung si semicircle ay ganyan kalahati dapat si minor arc is ganyan lang ganyan hindi siya dapat Um, lalagpas ng semicircle. Nandito lang siya sa semicircle. We have arc OB. Ayan, ilagay lang natin dito. Arc BI. Yan o, oh, hindi pa yan lalagpas na kalhati ng circle. We have arc IL. Yan. We have arc LE minor arc pa yan kasi di ba ito yung pinakakalhati eh nandito lang siya so definitely ang measure niyan ay less than 180 therefore kasali pa din siya sa minor arc we have EO arc EO remember kapag papangalanan nyo sila pwedeng magkabaliktad like OB pwedeng BO BI pwedeng IB okay nasa sa inyo na yan kung paano nyo siya isusulat basta palagi nyo lang tatandaan yung pinaka property niya which is the minor arc na dapat less than 180 degree bago nyo mapangalanan yung mga minor arcs dito sa circle na to alright Okay, next is the major arc. So, major arc measures greater than 180 degree. Meaning to say, lalagpas na siya sa semicircle, right? So, kung ito si semicircle, ayan si semicircle, ito si minor arc. Ito lang si minor arc. Si, si major arc naman is ito na siya. Yan. Lumagpas siya ng kalhate. Okay, basta mga arcs na lumagpas ng kalhate, that is what we called major arc, and it measures greater than 180 degree. Name the major arcs in this circle. We have O, B, L, arc O, B, L, as you can see, oh, yan, lagpas na kalhate from dito, tapos, ayan, nandito siya, O, B, L. And next, we have I, L, B. As you can see, lagpas siya ng kalhate. I, L, B. Okay? So, ganito nyo isusulat yung mga arcs. Okay. So, ganun lang naman kasimple ang ibig sabihin ng minor arc, major arc, and semicircle. Alright? Okay. So, palagi nyo lang tatandaan na kapag magpapangalan kayo ng major arc, it composed of three letters, while minor arc composed of two letters only. Now, let's discuss about the central angle and the inscribed angle. So, si circle is nakakabuo din siya ng mga angles by um, those line na na-discuss natin like yung mga radius, diameter, chords, nakakapag-form sila ng angles. Now, when we say central angle, 
it is an angle whose vertex is the center of the circle. Meaning to say, yung pinaka vertex ng angle na yon is nasa center ng circle. And by that, of course, ang titingnan nyo is yung center ng circle. Anong angle ba yung nabuo dito sa center ng circle natin? We have this angle, right? And this angle. And that is angle BMI. BMI. And angle BMO. Okay? And then next, kapag naman sinabi natin inscribed angle, ito naman yung mga angles na na-form doon sa mga points ng circle. Or, um, yung vertex niya is nasa point ng circle. Ayan. This angle. di ba? Nandito yung pinaka-vertex niya. We have angle B, I, O. Now, let's discuss all about the tangent line and the second of the circle. So, when we say tangent, it is a line that intersects a circle at exactly one point. Ibig sabihin niyan, meron siyang point na nag-intersect dito sa circle. And sabi nga is at exactly one point. Therefore, uh, yung line na yon is nasa labas ng circle. Why? Kasi kapag nasa loob siya, or dumaan siya dito sa loob ng circle, magkakaroon ng dalawang point of intersection. E di ba, when we say tangent, it intersects at exactly one point. Therefore, nandito siya sa labas. And yun na nga yung ibig sabihin ng tangent. Ito yung ating pinaka-tangent. We have line N is tangent to circle M at O. So, meron tayong tinatawag na point of tangency and ang point ng tangency nga natin is itong si point O. Okay? Ito siya. So, ibig sabihin lang yan, lahat ng mga line nag-intersect at exactly one point in a circle that is what we call the tangent. Okay? Again, line N is tangent to circle M at O. Dito sa point of tangency. Okay? So, when we say second of a circle, it contains a chord of the circle. Di ba kapag sinabi natin chords, it is a line segment whose end points are at the circle or at the point of the circle. And ang ating second is yung linya na naglalaman ng chord. And ang kanyang point of intersection is dalawa. Two points. We have this one and this one. So, ito, chord PQ. But, line R is a second of circle M. Kasi, di ba, nag-contain siya ng, ng chords. And, of course, we have two points of intersection. Point P and point Q. And therefore, we have line R contains chord PQ and is second to circle M. Okay? So, yun lang naman yung differences between tangent and the second of a circle. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope ay may natutunan kayo sa ating discussion all about circle. So, abangan niyo yung part 2 and doon nga sa part 3 di-discuss ko ang how to solve for the circumference and the area of the circle. Thank you so much and always remember to make your day productive by gaining knowledge. It's me again, Mamariel, and see you on my next video.